Hello, welcome to Fifi's Corner. Now on this channel, we're gonna be talking about all things fragrances, beauty, and lifestyle. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's go on this journey together. So today, we're going to be going over my fragrance collection, which is pretty much new. I've been building for the last two months because when I was moving about two months ago, what I did was I did a declutter. And I realized that a lot of the perfume that I had, I've had them for about seven to eight years. They're very old. The juices look different. The bottles were sometimes sitting in sunlight. So you know how the smell of the perfume was not the same anymore. So I just decided I'm going to throw all of them away. I kept two of them and I'll be going over those two with you guys. And then I'm starting from scratch. So we're going to be building a new bomb fragrance collection together. So to get right into it, the two that I kept, I'll be going over with you guys and the reasons why and also be going over the notes. I have the notes here on my phone, so I'll be going over those notes with you guys. The first one that I kept is none other than Gucci Bamboo. So I didn't keep this because I loved it so much. I actually not a huge fan of this perfume. I kept it because it smells very masculine and I'll just find to give it to my husband or anybody else who would like it. And if not, then I can just toss it out. But it has still quite a good amount of juice in it. The reason why it's being used, you know when you buy something and you're like, you know what, I spent so much money on it, I'm gonna use it anyways. That's a lot of what was happening. So the notes on this perfume is Casablanca Lily, Orange Blossom, Ylang Ylang, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Amber. It's way too masculine for my taste, and so I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of this perfume. And I didn't buy it too long ago as well. The second one that I kept was also because it was pretty new to my collection, which is Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I know the juice looks very dark on camera, but it's not as dark in person. This perfume is actually very beautiful, very girly, just a nice fragrance in general. It has pink pepper, raspberry, lychee, sandalwood, amber, some patchouli, which I love as well. So it's a very nice and girly perfume. So those are the only two from my old collection that I kept. Now we're going to be going into the new stuff. So one of the new ones that I purchased, which is actually old, I've had it before, I just repurchased it again, is, used to be my signature scent, none other than Christian Dior Jador. So this perfume is a beautiful signature scent. It is classic, I feel like it's gonna be a good one to keep in your collection forever when it goes off when i'm done with it i'm definitely going to be purchasing a new one again so the notes on this perfume is pear lemon peach mandarin orange vanilla i love vanilla perfumes musk rose tuberose jasmine it is beautiful so this is a classic scent for signature perfume it will be in my collection for a very long time. One that is very new to my collection is a very famous one. It is Good Girl. Now the reason why I never owned Good Girl before was because I used to feel like the bottle was very cliche, very <laughs> not, not appealing. But when I smelt it in store when I was looking for perfumes and I just heard so much about it, it is a beautiful perfume. I feel like it would appeal to almost everyone. It's a safe blind buy for like a present for somebody who likes perfume. It will be safe to buy because it will appeal to a lot of people. This perfume is vanilla, cocoa, tonka bean, almond, tuberose, orange blossom, has a bit of patchouli, bergamot, lemon, it is just a very beautiful fragrance and it's long lasting as well. The next one that I have is a limited edition from the same Carolina Herrera. It is 212, but 212 VIP Rose Extra. Okay, look at that bottle. It is definitely extra. So this 
perfume. I would like to smell it again. Oh my god. This perfume is 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 good. It's very good. It has some cherry, liquor, lychee, vanilla, tonka bean, bitter almond, and peony. It is a safe blind buy as well. I don't think it's available for purchase anymore. There's the VIP Rosé. I don't know how that smells similar to the Extra, but the Extra, I think, will just give it a little bit. It might be like an intense version of that one as well. So those two Carolina Herrera perfumes are very safe blind buy perfumes. Now we're gonna move into one that is very, very new to my collection. I previously owned Flower Bomb but they never had Flower Bomb Midnight. Flower Bomb Midnight is a step up, in my opinion, from Flower Bomb. It has this extra-ness about it. It is black currant, pomegranate, peony, vanilla, and white musk. Has a bit of jasmine as well. It is, if you like Flower Bomb, I think it has the same DNA as Flower Bomb, but just has this Oomph to it no other way to describe it but oomph. it's it's nice it's pretty the next one that we're going to go through is this beautiful lady over here with her nice bow on her neck it is chloe love story so chloe love story is a nice classic perfume I, I think it, it's it's different from everything that I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase it again, but I'm definitely going to be using a lot of it. It's safe for everyday wear. I'm going to get groceries. I know, I wear perfume to get groceries. Don't judge. But it's a safe everyday wear perfume. It has some pear, grapefruit, lemon, peach, rose, blackcurrant, musk, patchouli as well. So it's, it's pretty. It's a pretty light, airy perfume in my opinion and the one that I think I am going to have forever and ever if not just because of the bottles also because it smells really really nice is YSL Libre the story behind YSL Libre was I previously used to buy a lot of Vogue magazines to decorate my coffee table and in one of the editions they had a sample of YSL Libre and the first sniff I got of that perfume I walked straight to Sephora and I grabbed the whole bottle so I used to have this one before spread it till the end so I threw out the empty bottle there was no juice left and then I bought a whole new one so this perfume has lavender mandarin orange black currant orange blossom jasmine vanilla musk ambergris it is beautiful it has vanilla i love anything vanilla so for sure and this one is pretty i have yet to smell the intense version but i have a feeling that i would like it as well but for now we're gonna wait until this bottle is finished and then grab an intense version next time a very pretty girl to my collection is valentino born in roma so this perfume is very cute very girly the bottle is girly the perfume is girly it reminds me of like going out for shopping with your girls going for brunch going to grab drinks appetizers if you notice the back of the bottle has some stickers on it, it says fifi ignore how crappy it is so what happened is i bought the bottle as part of a gift set and the gift set comes with stickers that you can use on the bottle to personalize it. Tell me why it doesn't stay ever. It's always been falling off. I should just toss it out, but I just still keep it on it anyways. It's a nice girly weekend perfume. That's how I use the perfume. Now, another very girly perfume that I have as well is the Miss Dior Roses and Roses. I never knew that I was going to love a rose perfume. It has damask rose, bergamot, mandarin, white musk. It is pretty. It is light, so I feel like it will be safe for work wear. It's, it's very soft. It's very girly, very pretty, very rosy. Think about rose. That's exactly what it is. Rose and rose is a great name for the perfume. So that's one that as well that I think I'm always going to have because when you you don't want all your collection to be just 
I need something light just for when I just want to just go somewhere. I, I don't need to be showing myself all the time, right? Next one that I have here is a very classy lady. She is none other than Gabrielle Chanel Essence, okay? Not to be confused with the regular Gabrielle Chanel. Gabrielle Chanel was basic for me, like for a Chanel perfume, I want you to show out. She was not showing out, but this lady here is everything that she is not, okay? It has citruses, peach, black currant, white flowers, tuberose, ylang ylang, coconut, orange blossom, vanilla, musk. It is it is a great perfume. I, I like it for a nighttime going out kind of perfume. That's exactly when I whip her up. And another collection that I have from the Chanel brand is none other than Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Okay, unlike Gabrielle, I, I like Coco Mademoiselle, but Intense version is just, it punches you in the face. It lets you know that I'm here. Like, come on, you have to know that I am around. Coco Chanel Mademoiselle is orange, lemon, rose, jasmine, fruity, fruity Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and patchouli. Come on, why not? She, she, she's great. She's all things lovely. So that will be the two I have from Chanel for now. That's just for now. I'm definitely going to be adding a lot more Chanel onto my collection. Next classy lady that I have to my collection here is none other than this beautiful lady in her black dress. And that is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. My camera will not focus, but this is just beautiful. It's as beautiful as the bottle. I love black and gold. And what this perfume, what it smells like, what it looks like, it looks like a gala night. You know, when you're all in your long, maxi, sparkly dress showing out, that's exactly what it looks like to me. And the notes on this perfume are green apple, mandarin, jasmine, coconut, vanilla, cashmere wood. It is beautiful. It is classy. It and it's long lasting as well. So if you want if you're going out and you're going to be doing a lot of activities and you think, you know, you want something that's going to last a long time, I find that this perfume lasts a long time. So why not? So that will be it for the perfumes in the collection. Now we're gonna move over to the body products. We have the body lotions and oils. So what I usually do is I love to layer a different perfume with a different body lotion. Now, one tip that I'm going to give to you is, I know people will say put the perfume, put the lotion and then you spray the perfume, it makes it last a, long, a lot longer. Now, perfume is alcohol alcohol will disappear so what you want to do is to trap that perfume inside so it doesn't go anywhere so tip for you here if I don't give you anything else is spray the perfume top it up with the lotion and then you trap that perfume in there and it's going to last you a lot longer thank me later try it and see now the very first one is I always have the accompanying perfume to go with each lotion so I don't need to go over the notes of these items the Chloe love story lotion which looks very similar to the perfume similar scents I also have the Valentino born in Roma lotion as well we have none other than the J'adore lotion now with J'adore I have the lotion I have the perfume I have the soap so if I just want to J'adore from head to toe I do that shower with the soap rub the lotion spray the perfume top it up again with the lotion you will be your door from head to toe one that I really really love is my flower bomb dry oil so this oil 
I love it because it's a dry oil so it's not greasy and I also like to use it on my braids as they're getting older just spray it on the braids makes your braids smell nice makes your braids look nice and just looking all pretty so that's it for my fragrance collection today we're going to be going on this journey together building up a whole new collection so please subscribe like the video comment and let me know your tips on building a new fragrance collection i'm also going to going over a couple of tips with you guys so first tip that i have for you buy 100 ml some perfumes i know come in 90 75 is the maximum but try to buy the 100 ml or the highest one if available at over 100 i feel like it's just unless if you really really love it like something you're going to use forever then sure but over 100 is might be a little bit too much so buy the 100 ml the reason why is because financially it makes more sense and you get a lot more for your money for example if we're going to take um chanel gabrielle for example 100 ml of chanel gabrielle is 138 us dollars so the 50 ml should be around 50 percent of that right about 70 dollars let's say on the worst case scenario 75 dollars wrong now the 50 ml is 105 us dollars so for about 30 more dollars you will purchase double the perfume some people say oh i only buy 50 because i don't think i'm gonna use the entire perfume if you're not going to use a hundred ml of the perfume then maybe you don't like it that much to even buy it in the first place right so just for money wise better to just buy the hundred ml now my second tip is for you to do gift sets because you get a lot more value for your money as well so the gift set sometimes will come with a hundred ml of the perfume a lotion and the little purse um, the little purse spray that you can carry in your purse or just you know carry for traveling which I love to it has I have each like tiny little perfumes in different purses just depending on which one I want to take so and a lot of the time they cost the same as the 100 ml so why not right you get a lot more value for your money you get a little extra purchases sometimes as well you get gift or purchase that's when i usually like to purchase items now the third tip i'm going to give to you is make friends with the sales associate have a sales associate that you keep in touch with some of them have instagram accounts that you can follow them they let you know in these deals they save items for you i've gotten a couple of perfumes on like random 20% of deals because when I come in to make a purchase my SA Sania hi my SA would tell me you know what if you come back on Friday we're gonna have this item for 20% off they know which type of perfumes you like she knows how much I love vanilla fragrances so if there's a deal on something I've been looking at she sends me a quick message on Instagram as well they give you those tiny bottles like a lot of it that you can use to test out your fragrances so you know if they actually last because it's not just if the perfume smells great it can smell great in the store and then you go home and you can't smell it anymore you also want your perfumes to last a long time so for sure build um, friends with the essays your sales associate find you know so that you can find deals they can give you the good good recommendations and yeah so those will be my tips for you today stay tuned let's keep in touch let's go on this journey together and I'll see you on the next video